wanted to do for forever and that is an American tries foreign food I was gonna do like just Japanese or just whatever but um they didn't have like a ton of just like one thing so I just got a bunch of different kinds from a bunch of different places I'm gonna try them here on YouTube for you guys and um Please don't get offended if I don't like some of the food. I mean, I'm not that much of a picky person, and there's not that many things that I think that I might not like. It's just, like, things that I'm obviously not used to eating. But, I mean, America has some pretty gross things that should not even be a thing. So, I mean, don't get offended because, I mean, I feel you. So, I think I have a lot more, like, salty foods than sweet foods, but I'm not really 100% sure. But I think I'm going to start with this just because it seems really gross and I think that I should get the gross out of the way. And this is from Japan. I don't know, just kidding. This is from Korea. And it says seasoned seaweed with green tea. And I don't know how this is going to taste, but we're going we're gonna to test it out. That doesn't smell that great, but oh my gosh, I'm kind of kind of nervous. So this is, it's in like this little carton and there's just like a bunch of little sheets of seaweed oh my gosh okay um it's not bad you know like the texture is really weird it kind of tastes like one of those veggie chips I mean like it's not bad but I'm not gonna finish it you know like it's not good enough to like want to keep eating so, um, I'm going to do this, like, out of stars, like, out of five stars, and, oh, I feel like it's making me have bad breath. Okay, this is, like, a 1.5 out of five stars. Next, I'm going to try this, because it looks like it's not going to hurt me, and this is peach gummy candy. Oh, they're little individually wrapped things, so cute. Oh, and they're in the shape. Oh, just kidding. They're not in the shape of peaches, but they smell really good. I smell like peaches. I mean, and they're good. They just taste like peaches. Um, I mean, I would give this four out of five stars because obviously it's just like a gummy. Like, it's not anything special, but I think it's going to be one of the better things that I taste. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I'm going to do something, some chocolate, just because, like, I'm kind of craving chocolate. And this is something really popular that I've seen on YouTube a lot, and they're, like, the Aero Bars. This, I think, is from the UK. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it just looks really good. It says, feel the bubbles, so I'm thinking that this is going to be, like, some, like, crazy kind of special chocolate. Oh, it's already kind of broken, but that's okay. And it's got, like, these, I guess I just break off one of the bubbles. Um, oh my gosh, it looks so cool on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Pretty good. Um, you don't really feel the bubble. You just feel that there's like air in it. Like you can tell that it's not like a solid chocolate. So I guess that's what they mean by feel the bubble. I don't know. But, um, I don't know. I mean, it's good. It's actually really good. I like it. I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 stars. Would recommend, really. Now I'm going to try this because it looks really weird and kind of scary. But it's um, Hokkaido Matcha Milk Candy. And it's from Japan. This is what it looks like. It's a hard candy, so I'm probably not going to finish it. It's green, so that's kind of scary. don't like I got that same taste from when I ate the seaweed Ugh. no I did not like that at all please give me a trash can um yeah so this is probably my least favorite so far so I give this like a 0.5 stars um actually I don't know if I would give this any stars just because it's not good okay now my little sister really wants me to try these these are the Ramune flavored gummy candies I also got some Ramune drinks but I want to try these, and then after this we'll do the drinks, so that way we can kind of like compare taste or whatever. Even though I'd ne I didn't get the regular, I didn't get the original Ramune, I, they only had flavored ones where I was. So, 
they're not going to be that similar, but I mean, we can still kind of compare, you know? So this is what it looks like. Oh, did I guys show you guys the bag? Obviously, these are from Japan as well. Um, it just says flavored gummy candy. Um, it says it's removed. It's known for its refreshing taste and it's a popular soft drink in Japan. It says enjoy the delicious flavor in gummy candy. Oh, it, they, okay. It smells like a really, really super strong like Taco Bell Baja Blast. But like times 20,000. That's how strong it smells. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't feel like I like it's anything special. But I mean, like I would eat it if like I was offered one. Like I'd be like, yeah, sure, you know. Um, so I give it probably like a three out of five stars. Um, just because, like I said, like I don't know, like that I would go to the store and buy it. Um, and now I have a drink. I don't know if this is the actual Ramoon brand. I have one that's the actual. Ramoon brand. It says Ramoon drink on this one. This one's coconut, but it's actually for my sister and I don't really like coconut, so I'm not going to try that one. I'm just going to try this one. It's raspberry and I'm super excited for these. Like, this is probably like the main thing that I've been wanting to try whenever I film this video. So you use this thing to poke the um, marble or like you, you can disconnect these. And then you use this to poke down the marble, but I'm going to get all this plastic off because it makes me feel weird if I don't. You can throw that piece away. I'm taking this and pushing in the marble, or trying to at least. Oh, got it. Oh, so cool. That's pretty good. Like, it just tastes like... It kind of tastes like carbonated water with like some like like the like flavoring in it but like it's good you know who doesn't want a little marble in their drink as they're drinking so I'm gonna give it a five just for like creativity and like it wasn't like a bad drink so yeah ever since I've seen these in a video I've been dying to try them and they're shrimp chips I'm so ready for this Oh, they do not smell really that <laughs> They smell like shrimp, like straight up, straight up shrimp. But like, I still think they're gonna be good. I mean, I don't know that other people would like these. They're kind of fishy. But I mean, I'm gonna keep eating them, so. Yeah, I'd give these probably like a 4.5. No, I'm going to give them like a 4 because I don't think that they're for everybody, but I like them. Um, But like, I don't know. They're kind of weird. Like they're kind of fishy. Obviously they're shrimp chips, but like it's like a lot of shrimp chips. Like it's like a lot of shrimp, less chips, you know what I mean? But, I mean, yeah, four out of five, four out of five stars. Okay, I'm going to go back to a chocolate thing. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep, like, my chocolate ones for last because I think that all those will be good. And so, I just want to, like, save the best for last. This is more seaweed stuff, and so I'm not excited. This is called Nori Mari. It says, a flavorful burst of the Orient in every bite. Oh, joy. Oh, my gosh. They smell like the other stuff, and I'm not ready for it. Okay, I can't do this. I picked out all the bad stuff because I was like, you know, there has to be some things in there that we might not like because, I mean, if you like everything, I just don't, I don't know. I mean, that'd be awesome if you liked everything, but. These aren't as bad as the other because they have the little cracker thing in them, but like, they're still pretty bad. Like, I'd give this like a 1.5. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not going to finish that little thing, but. Hi, guys. So, at this part of the video, you can probably tell there's, like, seaweed on my lip right here. And my little sister did not tell me. And I literally filmed pretty much the rest of the video with it right there. So, I just, I'm sorry that it's there. Um, it annoys me just as much as it annoys you. And I just wish that I could get it off, but I can't. So, 
I just wanted, like, I want to inform you now that it will be there, and I know it's going to bug the crap out of some of you guys, but I'm sorry. I don't, I really don't know why. My little sister literally sat right here and watched me film the video with it right there. So, I mean, please, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not very good. I would probably never buy anything with seaweed ever again just because of this experience. Um, kind of stressing me out. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to try this. This is also from Japan. A lot of the things were from Japan, but then we also had like the few like chocolate things that are from like other places. So this is called Super Cola and yeah, I'm guessing that it's going to taste like Coca-Cola. I think these are going to be pretty good. Like I'm not worried about these. Oh, it smells like Coke. Oh, it's sour. I just, oh my god, so sour. I was not expecting that to be sour, but now I understand why there's little, like, flames or whatever, like, bursts coming out of their mouth. And they're like, oh, cola. Wow. Okay. Um. That was really sour, but I like sour, so I'm going to give it like a 4.75 out of 5 stars. Okay, and the last thing we have that isn't chocolate is these apple bonbons, and my little sister Lily thinks that these are going to be sour, but I'm, they don't, there's no like sign of sour on here, so if they are, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, okay, they're not sour, they're not. It's not gum, it just says it's a chewy candy. Ow, it kind of hurts my jaw. I do taste the apple. Very strong apple, but it's not too strong, but like, it's a good amount. Um, I'm going to give it um a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to be generous, because that was actually, like, I wasn't surprised by it. Like, I was actually like, wow, like, I could enjoy it, you know? I mean, it's kind of stuck in my tooth a little bit, but I'm fine with it. Next, I have this Milka bar, and it's just chocolate. It doesn't look like anything super special, but it's from Germany, and German chocolate is so good. So, I've actually probably had this before, but I was way younger, um, so I'm not 100% sure if I have. I just got a little square off of there. Oh my gosh. It's so, like, soft and, like, rich and creamy. Mm. It kind of tastes like it has nuts in it, even though it doesn't. Like, you know, like, it has, like, an almond taste to it almost. I mean, this is good. I did like the Aero Bar better. What if, Do you remember what I rated the Aero Bar? I mean, so I would rate this lower than the Aero Bar. But I don't remember what I rated this. I think a 4.5. So this would be like a 4 or like a 3.5. Next, I'm really excited to try this. And it is the Kit Kat Crunchy. I've also seen this in a ton of trying videos. And I'm super excited to try it. Look at it. It is a huge Kit Kat. Um, I'm just going to break off one of them. Or maybe not even the whole one, actually. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to bite into it. Like, just like this top one, because I don't want that huge piece, because, like, I'm about to, like, die of all this food. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like a regular Kit Kat, just in giant form, and I love it. I would rate this one, like, a 6 out of 5 stars, honestly. Next, I'm going to try this. This is the Tobler Rome. And it says Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. So this is what my little triangle looks like. I'm pretty sure nougat is the like the stuff that's in a Twix bar. But I, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm probably sound dumb if I'm wrong, but I'm almost 100% positive. But I don't know about the honey part of this, so I wonder if you're gonna be able to taste it. This is good. It just kind of tastes like a crunch bar. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I like it. I'm gonna rate it a four out of five stars. My little sister just informed me that I had seaweed on my lips, so I apologize if it was there like the whole time. I mean, I knew something like that was gonna happen, but whatever. Okay, and the last thing I have is this, and it's from Germany, and I'm super excited to try this just because they're little hippos. It's called Kinder Happy Hippo Cocoa Cream Milk and Cocoa Biscuits, and biscuits is just like, I just like that word when it's referring to candy. Like, it's just like cute, like, oh, go, go get you a little biscuit. Like, that's just so cute, and it just makes me happy. I bet this is going to be my favorite thing. I've got stuff on the inside. I've had something like this before. Holy cow, this was so good. I'm so happy I did this video just because of this. The seaweed and all that doesn't even matter because I have this. Oh, yeah, the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat and the little happy hippos make me happy, happy, happy. Just like the hippo. I mean, I understand why he's happy now. Um, and the Kit Kat, just like a basic good Kit Kat. Um, and it's like five times bigger, so that's always a plus. That was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thumbs up if you want to see more trying videos. And I will try and go and buy more foods that I didn't try in this video. Um, because I loved this. Like, I honestly love being, like, a food critic for the, um, one time in my life. And I would love to do it again, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. Um, if you are new to my channel, then hi, if you want to, um, subscribe, and then you can just click right here on the screen, or you can scroll down if you're on your phone, and just click right there beside my little icon picture. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!